soil brothers and soil sisters. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what is today? Tuesday. Today, today is, is Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, because we had Tuesday, Tuesday this morning. And tonight, <laughs> <laughs> we are coming in yes. with an extra live, which is Chicken Talk 101. That's right. So why are we having this conversation? So first, I want to welcome Facebook and YouTube on Andel Homestead and Black Tropical Homestead. There you go. Why are we squawking, as Kim would say, about chickens? Because <laughs> <laughs> we got chicken brain. <laughs> chicken brain. We are the crazy chicken ladies. I said we that. Are. Turn you into a crazy chicken mama. Yes, you are. Yeah. And well, I really appreciate the fact that um, Sheree has offered to mentor me in a way. Um, I am going to be getting some chickens from them when I come home from the Soil Family Expo. And I am bugging the tar out of her, calling her constantly, asking questions and what do we do and how do you do this? And oh my gosh, if I, if I built my chicken like the chicken pen, like um, I want to, it's going to be a thousand dollars. It's going to have to be a whole lot of eggs to pay for a thousand dollars. She's going to say, No, 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 no. So I brought my paper and my pencil. I didn't write down any questions, but I thought uh, we love the chicken ladies. That's right. I thought yeah, that yeah. maybe, you know, we could answer, you could help me. And the audience, all of our friends, hey, Nikki, all of our friends could help us learn or have some idea of some questions that I have about chickens. Yes. So I want to start by saying hello to everyone. Uh, we will not, I will watch for questions. So if you have questions, definitely post them in the chat. But we will not speak to everybody individually because we have Four things paired here. YouTube, right. Facebook, so much going on. So um, we appreciate you all being here, hitting the thumbs up for us, sharing us out, and all that good stuff. But we are all here, here to learn. I am not a pro when it comes to raising chickens, but I can give my advice and what we have been through here at Black Truck. What you have been doing. Mm -hmm. With our journey with raising chickens. Right. So, well, one of my first questions that I was asking Sherry about is the um, chicken coop. Because so uh, the one thing of advice that I have learned from my fellow people on social media is making sure that you have your chicken coop ready before you have your chickens. Mm -hmm. Because they need them really quickly. Even when they're itty bitty babies, it goes fast and you need right. a place to put them yes and you know when the weather is nice and most people get chickens in the spring so when the weather is nice you want to be able to put them outside sometimes so they can get some fresh air and spread right. them little wings yes which they will do well we we are now officially homesteaders or um farmers or however you want to call us we are officially <laughs> We raise baby chicks, quail, now dogs, rabbits inside the house. <laughs> we bring them in and we take care of them when they are little until they get yeah. big enough. Most people, they won't do that. But, you know, I say it's just a little cleanup. It's okay. That's right. We want to nurture them and make sure that they grow up nice and strong. But um, when I wanted chickens, Bobby said, you're going to take care of them. I oh. had no clue what I was doing at all. I just, you yes. know, we lost Sandy, of course, which was our 24-7. And we went to track the supply one day and he said, I said, I want chickens. He said, I'm going to the bathroom. I was standing <laughs> there waiting because I wanted these chickens. He said, you're going to take <laughs> care of them. Okay. I think we got six chickens. Okay. I think it was six. And quickly we found out chicken math is real. <laughs> we went from six to 16 to 20 within two weeks. 
oh my gosh. And then it was like, okay, we got 20 chickens in the house. And what it was, was we found out that, oh, we can get green and blue and pink and beige and brown and white and all these color eggs. And what we need is the egg. I'll order them online, but you had to get 10. So it was so much, so much at one time. But within the first week, we found out that, hey, we need a chicken coop. (laughs) They started flying all over the room. Like they would be nesting up on this overhead. Oh, my goodness. What in the world? We were in here looking for chickens in the closet. (laughs) we ended up building our chicken coop and the thing the most important thing to us was safety because yes. we don't want to go out and find our chickens have been taken or right i mean us too we really have i have a lot i mean there are there are a lot of predators yes. to chickens in our neighborhood in our yard and so <laughs> Yeah, so we have predators, but um, what we did was Bobby built the chicken coop. I think it's about three feet off the ground. Okay. And um, around it, we put hardware cloth. Well, we attached it to a, a dog kennel, which is the run. Okay. We wanted the, the run to even be under the chicken coop. So we wrapped the entire chicken coop and run with hardware cloth. First, we had chicken wire. And then we found out, wait a minute, something can, a a snake can get through the chicken wire, which they really don't want your chicken. They want your eggs. Yeah, they want the eggs. But I mean, you know, I don't want to die of fright when I go to get them. (laughs) And we do have... Because we have the water in the backyard, we do have yeah. quite a bit of snakes here. And, yeah, and um, um, I, I do hear that you can, you can put, um, I wonder wonder if that would be dangerous for the chickens to put, like, it's mothballs really is what mm. it's crushed up to be. It's called snake be gone. Okay. But it's some stuff that we sprinkle along the edge of our property. Well, I do because... I don't want any snakes in the yard and, yeah. and or around our back porch, but it smells like mothballs. That might be dangerous to the chickens. Yeah. Um, we haven't. I used to see snakes in the backyard before we got chickens. I would not go in the backyard. I just stayed in the front if, when I went out. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Grace and Fire says to use, to make sure we use the hardware cloth. Yeah. So I don't, we don't use hard, I mean, we use hardware cloth to wrap our run, the bottom of our run, but on the ground, we have chicken wire and we put chicken wire on the ground just so if something come to dig, it'll hit that wire and it'll say, oh, never mind, because things will dig to get in your chicken coop too. Right. So you got to find a way to keep them out. And we just, that's what we use, um. Okay. Uh, I mean, the the chicken wire for was just to keep them out around the outside. Okay. So, what um what I'm understanding, what I have in my brain mm-hmm. is now, do do y'all cover the whole bottom or just two feet, like two feet in and two feet out, or just two feet out? Because there's a bunch of people that I've seen they cover their whole chicken coop including the run or especially the run in chicken wire. And then they recover about two or three feet up with the hardware cloth and bend it and pull it out from around the edge of the coop so that if something starts to dig, it can't dig through that wire. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We, we, um, we covered just the bottom, the sides of our run. Okay. With, hardware cloth and it's okay. all the way it's even under the coop all the way around so nothing can get in nothing can get out okay okay all right and because just on the uh, ground we laid the the chicken wire okay 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 because i was watching lydia from best chat journey and she had somebody had told her to like break bottles all the way around 
so that if something started digging underneath, they wouldn't be able to get to the chickens. But yeah. unfortunately, her chickens are now digging at the edge themselves yes. and they're yeah. getting to the glass, which is oh. awful. You know, yeah. so she's having to go in there and fill up holes and do all kinds of stuff. I mean, her girls are doing great. And yeah. Worth is Worth has had chickens before. But yes. you know, he lived out in the country and it's kind of like they went in the chicken house at night and then they free ranged all day. It wasn't, you know, they just had they were just kind of there. They made sure that they mm -hmm. fed them and yeah. where we're going to have it. Um yeah, I don't know that I can bury mine deep in the ground, Susan. She said that uh, she loves her chickens and she buried it deep in the ground. Our ground here is like cement. It's it's really, really hard. Yeah. So we just very laid eyes. We laid eyes around the um entire perimeter of the chicken run and coop. And it's about two feet away. But we just laid it on the ground and over time. You know the leaves are falling. It's, it's right. buried it, so now you okay. can't even see it. So, okay, okay, good, good. Now, um, because we don't have like a feed and seed close to us here, mm -hmm. um, I Worth was saying that some people will make their own food. They'll get mm -hmm. sunflower seeds and crack corn and do these things. And that sometimes they found that it was cheaper. But because we don't have access to it, if I go to Lowe's or Tractor Supply or something and buy a big old bag of, bag of sunflower seeds, that's a lot of money. I mean, it's like yeah. 20 bucks for a five pound bag. And yeah. Yeah. Um, so you get yours from, where do you get Tractor your food? Supply. We get our feed from Tractor Supply. And this is our opinion. I know it's a lot of... Um, friction with tractor supply, but we've never had any issues with um with our feed at all. Our girls lay, you know, they they'll slow down, of course, with the seasons or when the days are shorter, they'll slow down, but we haven't had, you know, long periods of time where our girls just don't lay. So we do what we have to do because we are not close to a mill. Right. You know, we have to drive an extra 30 minutes to get to a mill. So we just pick right. up a couple bags at Tractor Supply and, you know, we have our five girls. Well, now we have the extra nine that I hatched out and um, right. a bag of feed will last them about a month, month and a half. Awesome. So <laughs> Grace and Fire said that um, she said on our big run, we use chicken wire for the roof. But right now we're dealing with hawk pressure. So she also used one of those wiggle man blow up things. Yeah. You know, oh yeah, to scare them away. <laughs> 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 yeah, you have to you have to keep in mind like predators that will come and grab them and keep it moving, like hawks. You yeah, know, we, we have a lot them. of hawks and big giant crows and owls, and I was really worried about brownie. Frankly, I was worried yeah. about my dog with some of these yeah. owls because they were huge. Yeah, and then yeah. Um, I don't know what nutras eat. The big giant rats. Yeah. That he keeps coming up in the yard almost every day now. Yeah. And so once I think once the chickens get acclimated and, and used to being home, um, I would let them out for an hour or two every now and then, just wh while you outside in the garden or something. That way you can oversee what's going on and yes. where they hanging. Because they yeah. they tend to hang in the same spaces. So I would just let them out an hour or two every day. Well, just to okay. See. And if you do it later in the evening, nine times out of 10, at a certain time, they automatically go home. They'll automatically go in that chicken coop because it's time to go to bed. Yeah. Well, we're going to have a fenced in run. We will have a yeah. fenced in run because you're not supposed to let them. That is one thing that's going to be different than what Worth grew up with. Because mm -hmm. we do live in a neighborhood and uh, you're not supposed to. But there will be times, I mean, we have a lot beside us that mm -hmm. is a, a little over a third of an acre that nobody's there and nothing, there's no structure on there that yeah. they can uh, they can roam around on there. So 
We use okay. wild bird seed mixed with cracked corn, lay and mix, oyster shells, and a little dyed mm -hmm. DE, dyed tomaceous yep. earth. It provides a mixture of all that they need and parasite control. Rita, that's great. Um, now, I do have some diatomaceous earth here mm -hmm. that I got for the garden. Is that the same thing? Yeah, as long as it's the food grade, um, DE, which is what you use in your garden. And it doesn't yeah. take a lot. We only use our DE inside our coop. When we clean the coop out, we'll sprinkle the floor with DE and barn lime. That's to help okay. with the moisture, the smell, and the bugs. Is it a difference? Even, it, I, it, 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 there's a difference in different types of lime? There's a barn lime that won't hurt the animals. Okay. And there's a yard lime that, you know, most people put in their yard. But um, okay, it, it's, they are both really cheap, and you only use a little bit. Okay, okay. Now, you have your five chickens. I'm going to be coming home with five chickens. So mm -hmm. how much feed do you give them every day? I mean, because we give the geese and the and frickin' frack, the Muscovy mm -hmm. ducks and all the wildlife out there, um, like a big coffee can almost twice a day. That's a lot. So Those little chickens can't eat that much. We um we give our girls we just fill I fill a bucket up. We have a five gallon bucket as our feeder. God what Bobby you. did was he cut the bottom out of the five gallon bucket and he put I keep calling it a water catcher that we set our right. plants on. He attached right. that to the feeder so that we just pour the um the feed in the top and it'll come out the bottom. So okay. I'll, I'll put about two and a half, three gallons of food in there so that um, I don't have to worry about food for a few days. But a five gallon okay. bucket will last them probably a week or so. But they are eating bugs and, you know, they like scratching for stuff. So we give them um, oyster shells. I don't personally, we don't personally feed our girls back uh, the shells. Because I'm afraid that it may encourage them to eat the um the eggs. eggs. So I just give them oyster shells and I use my shells for calcium in the garden rather than feed it back to my chickens. But a lot of people okay. feed theirs back to their chickens and well, do you have to buy that? Oyster shells? Yeah, yeah. I think it's a fifty pound bag for like four dollars, three or four dollars. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we bought one bag two raising weeks chickens. ago. Raising chickens is not cheap. I can tell you. I, ha I hadn't even gotten started and it's already not cheap. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the biggest part is the beginning. What, what you're doing now, you know, you have to build a run. That's why I said I wouldn't spend a $1,000. Yeah, no, we know. can't, you know, we can't do that. But um, it's it's going to be, it's going to be okay. It's going to be yeah, okay. And, I know um, we buy oyster shells um, at yes, Tractor no. Supply. We get all of okay. our supplies at Tractor Supply. The oyster shells, the DE, the um, the barn lime, it come in 50-pound bags. It may be $15, $20 for all three. It's very expensive. Okay. okay. And so your five-gallon bucket, and you put two to three or four gallons in there, I know you, you're not ever going to let it get all the way down, but Sometimes normally, do. <laughs> <laughs> how long Sometimes does it do last? Because they, what they do is I'll fill a bucket up and then they'll kick feed everywhere and the bucket is empty. And I just say, well, I'll fill it up when y'all finish cleaning up. And they'll clean up. They'll clean okay. up. Okay. Okay. All right. I mean, like, because so the bucket lasts about how long? And Kristen, I, I may be, you know, tapping on your door, honey. She said she's been raising chickens for 12 years and she's always there to help. And somebody yes. scanned the barcode that you have up in the corner. Tell them, tell them about the barcode up there. So that. So the barcode this, cool. Oh, the donate to the stream barcode. So that barcode, it's just something new that um, Restream added to 
I guess their lineup. You, they have this um, fifty pound scam. bag. Huh. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, Grace just said um, nine girls. She uses a fifty pound bag. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, the they scanner. have this new scan thing where you can um, just leave it up on the screen like it is. So the scan that we have up in this corner is donate to stream. So you can scan your QR code. It'll donate to stream. We have sometimes people will say, I can't see your um, Amazon wish list. We wanted to buy you a gift. And now we can just pop it up. And then we well, also you have, have to help me get my Amazon wish list on my uh, page. So if somebody wants to help me with my chickens, they can do that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it, you know, the, the beautiful thing in this community, true. the beautiful thing about this community is they love to help and they love to support. You know, people, we get things all probably every week we get something from somebody. So um, you can also now so use fine. your affiliates. Like if you are affiliates with anybody, like we are affiliates with Redmond's Real Salt and you can purchase things through our affiliate link and it'll give you 10% off. So oh, man. you can just pop it up and show it and it'll show up in the chat. So that's, that's what all so it is. Wonderful. Coupon that's wonderful. Okay. Uh, so Rita says, we use V-shaped feeders about three feet long, but we usually are feeding 50 plus animals at a time. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I hope I don't get 50 animals because I might get turned in if I have 50 chickens in a place where I'm only supposed to have corn. Ooh, I'm kind of pushing the limit on getting five. We went crazy with chickens. And, you know, like I said, it was all about the colors. And then you see, oh, my God, that chicken is beautiful. Yeah. But they look one way when you get them. Because even our um, silver lace, they look different when they were babies compared to what they look like now. They finally looking like, you know, silver lace little chicken. Oh. So I looked him up and showed Worth a picture just tonight. I go, look, this is what our chickens are going to look like. <laughs> and he That's said, well, what are you like. going to name them? Are you going to name I said, well, one will be. Sherry, one will be Liddy B, <laughs> one will be Adrian, one will be Lisa from Jesse and Lisa. <laughs> Chickens are so therapeutic. Having... Yes. You'll, you'll be able to sit and just watch them. They'll all have their own personalities. You'll figure out that this is such and such. It'll be something that stand at about this one that you'll you'll be able to tell your chickens they all have different personalities all of that's them. what worth said they might they might look alike but each one it's like having five dogs that look alike they all have their own yeah. personality he yes. said you'll be yeah. able to tell so Kristen says what kind are you getting so These i'm getting silver lace wine dots silver lace wine dots Yep. Somehow I can't get that in my head except for silver lace. I'm just silver getting the lace. silver lace part. And um, <laughs> because people are asking me, uh, let's see, some can you pick up and they will purr like a cat? If you yes. pick up the chickens, they do? <gasps> yes. Oh, I can't wait. I can't some wait. Will be, when I say they have their own personality, some will be maybe like, no, don't touch me. Some will be right. like, hey, you know, here she... When I walk outside, uh, original girls, when I walk outside and I say, girl, sometimes I don't have to say anything. They all take off yeah. running to the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, look at these goofy chickens. They all just race to me to see what do I have or what am I doing? What do you want? So oh, my have gosh. Personalities. And, and the, the so wine cool. are just like, hmm, you know, well, I don't know what they're doing, but we're going to go over here. So they are used to each other. And they stay in their own little flock. <laughs> they stay okay. away from the big room, but they are great. And um, Grace and Fire said she has one that sits on her shoulder even when she's broody. That's you know, amazing. Dad's chicken. I know she passed away, but she would sit on his shoulder when he was live too. Girly, mm -hmm. I think her name was Girly. Dad's over in Australia. Oh yes, he loved that chicken. Did did yes. she pass away? I think she passed away. One of his chickens passed, but she would sit right on his chair when he would. Oh alive. my goodness, he loved that chicken. Oh my yes. gracious, that yes. baby stayed with him all over the place. 
Oh my um, goodness. Does anybody know if there's a law having chickens in Florida? Because I'm moving to Florida. So you basically have to check um, the county or the, the city, the town that you are moving in because everywhere is so different. Like, it is. City, and like, if, I don't live in the city limits. Yeah, yeah. I don't live in the and city limits, but I live in a neighborhood five miles outside of the city limits. Yeah. And so yeah. within my neighborhood has those covenants. And then, um, you know, so it's different everywhere. Some people, yeah. you have to have permits, which yeah. we don't here. Um, yeah. Some places you can have as many as you want, not in town. In town, I don't even know if you can have four chickens. But, yeah, so like um, in the city of Savannah, you can have chickens. So, you know, it's different places to tell you no know, chickens and some. So you just have to check wherever you are, you know. Don't let anybody just tell you, oh, yeah, you can have chickens because we can't say that for right. everybody. I know Grace and Fire can't have chickens on her property. But Girl, just right next door, I think they can have chickens. But it's, you know, a thin line yeah. between whether you can have chickens or not. Or it's still in her yard. But yep. she, I mean, it's not really, it's not really her property, but she can step like this far off of her property and be in a place that you can have chicken. So, yep. <clears throat> yep. That's crazy. So My rooster thinks I'm his go. girlfriend. He leaves his ladies as soon as he sees me and hangs with me the whole time. <laughs> oh, Sammy Joe. <laughs> I'm not planning on having no. any roosters, but. You can't have you know. any roosters, right? I'm not supposed to, no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but and honestly, we, we never had a rooster. Okay, but I mean, honestly, if I get in trouble, there there's a whole bunch of people even on my street that have chickens. There's chickens yeah. all over this neighborhood, and not all of them know. I don't think they know that you're only supposed to have four per lot, four per lot, and I have three lots, so I could potentially have a little bit more, but. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm not pushing that. Yeah, I so. would start small just so you can get, you have to get used to them and they have to get used to you. It's a whole new stride when you have chickens because, you know, oh, you got to move a little different because now you have to think about your chickens and going and feeding them and collecting your eggs and, you know, checking them. Like we check our girls for mites. We've never had bumblefoot or anything. Right. But we don't do a lot of extra, but um, we do yeah. make sure they're okay and don't have mites and keeping them clean. Right. So now you, know, the, you definitely want to start small. That DE, if they get mites, you can potentially put that on there. Is that right? Yeah. So what I do, um, when the weather change, I'll check my girls. And what I do is I flip them upside down <laughs> and I check around like the vent area under their wings. I have a video I shared on the um, community tab. Well, I just turn them over. And I check, make sure I don't see anything moving around. But what I do is I put DE in a sock. And it's just like I powder that okay. behind. Okay. Oh. But, um, we've never had issues with mites, but that is something that you want to make sure you stay on top of. Because they'll stop laying. And it could be that they have mites. It could be, you know, I just need a break. It could be the days are short. You know, right. it could be something and it could be nothing, but right. sometimes it could right. be a break. I think we all need a vacation and it's okay. We don't give them supplement light or heat. Heat is definitely dangerous to have in your coop. You know, your girls will be okay, even in the winter. Trust me. Okay. They'll be okay. Um, And we don't give them extra light because when it's time to take a break, we all want a break. Right. So, right. And so, um, it, the dust bath had come up in mm. the, I mean, honestly, y'all, if you listen to everybody that has chickens on the social media, you'd be broke. You might oh as well And my <laughs> mind just gets too much. Like it's, it's, I need a medical degree <laughs> in animal yeah. husbandry and I need all these medical supplies and all these crazy things, which I mean, you do. Yes. But, um, <clears throat> So a dust bath, I assume you can have, we have like a little kiddie pool, mm -hmm. 
Can you have just some sand or something mixed in you a can. kiddie pool? You can, but our girls have built the little hole inside their run, and that's where they bathe at. They pick and okay. choose where they want to bathe. So we used to put um, a little it. a container in there for them to dust bathe, but they would dust bathe everywhere else at the back. You'll see them sunbathing, <laughs> turning over on their side, spreading gotcha. their wings. But so I just said, I'll take it out because it's just taking up space. They will okay. find a spot and they will create a hole and that's what okay. it must be. Okay. Okay. Because, um, you know, I just didn't know. And all right. So when I go into Tractor Supply mm -hmm. to buy some chicken feed, mm -hmm. I've understood that there's grow out chicken feed, which you're supposed to give to babies. And then just go, go where my brain is going. Okay. There is laying feed. There mm -hmm. is wintertime feed. There's, you know, the, um, the oyster shells and the treats and the worms and all these kinds of things. What do I get basic to begin with? Basic is where we still are two years later. <laughs> <laughs> Your girl will be um, almost close to laying when you get them. So we'll, they'll be on layer feed when you get them. So layer feed, we pay, I think, $13 for a 50 pound bag of layer feed. And it says, it says layer feed on it. Yeah, it says layer feed on it. Um, keep it simple, definitely Grace. Keep it simple. Yeah, don't get caught up in all these treats and um, yeah. you need antibiotics and all this stuff. I mean, yes. if something come up and you need it, you do what you have to do then. But to just have all right. this stuff sitting around, you'll keep spending money and buying stuff and doing it. It's just unnecessary. Well, how about I mean, does anybody out there put vinegar like um, the apple cider vinegar apple that vinegar. Is, has the mother in it? Do you put it I in put every cap time you, a cap full in their water? Full. Yep. And our water is a five gallon bucket. I fill it okay. up and then maybe twice a week. Okay. Twice a week. Because yeah. I'm thinking about, you know, I mean, it's not that often that Worth and I are both gone from the house more than two or three mm -hmm. days. But there will come a time in a couple of years I'm planning on being gone for about 10 days. Yeah. And uh, by that time, we'll have it down pat where we can mm -hmm. figure out like a, a bigger container and auto automatic feeders and things like that. But um, you yeah. use crushed garlic in your water when they have upper respiratory issues. How do you know when a chicken has an upper respiratory issue, Grace? <laughs> what do they like? Grace. Cough? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Layer. You do. can buy fat corn for them in the winter. It just helps put fat on them. Okay, yep. Sammy. Yeah, we, we do use cracked corn um, mostly in the winter because it helps keep them warm. It'll help them thicken up. and Does the cracked keep corn warm. keeps them Yeah. But because we let our girls free range some too, you know, they get tons of protein. They they scratch for bugs and worms. And so we don't, you know, yeah, you'll be able to tell when something wrong. Well, they're going to be but, right beside I mean, the garden. So they'll get a lot of garden fresh things. Yeah. Um, and Worth was out there. He was taking up all the ground cover today, getting everything all stirred up and ready to put some new things in it. And uh, he said, I'm telling you, they're not going to have any problem finding worms and all kinds of things because everything he turned had worms out there in the garden, which is fabulous for yes. the garden. Um, yeah. I just hope that, you know, those worms find their way over to the chicken coop, too. Oh, they'll find the, the chickens will find those worms. <laughs> they will <laughs> find them. And you'll do great. You know, like I said, it's a million videos out here that talk about raising chickens from three days old or from hatching on up. Yeah. I say keep it simple because if in, in anything, if you overwhelm yourself, you're going to say, I can't do this. 
Right. And I, I was getting to that point, honestly, because I have been watching a lot of chicken videos. Yeah. And everyone is different. And none of them are really, really, really basic, basic. And then yeah. I hear, uh, don't be surprised if I see a chicken eat a mouse. Oh, gosh, mm -hmm. that would be fine. I don't believe they'll be eating that Nutra that's bigger than my dog. Mm -hmm. I'm oh hoping that Nutra is so old. It has gray hair all over its <laughs> face and down its chin. That thing, that thing is so fat right now. The belly drags the ground, and I'm scared to death that it's a female, and it's going to have babies is what I'm scared of. Yep. Bobby will have to take that thing out. <laughs> well, see, he knows, or she, it it knows what it's doing because it always comes up when the geese and the ducks are around and there's... Um, oh, it's coming to get food. Yeah, there's nothing that you can do. You know, you can't shoot around those because we don't want to yeah. have them yeah. gone. Yeah. But, yeah, so, um, let's see. We use a mix of basic seed and layer mix. Cracked corn with oyster shells because we found that they have better eggs. Dark mm -hmm. yellow yolks, yolks. yum, with mm -hmm. thick shells. A little DE just helps with parasite. Read them. Yep. You and me, baby. <laughs> We're going to be, I'm going to be yep. chatting with you a lot because you've been doing it for 12 years and that sounds fabulous. Yeah. I remember when they could bring home a bunch of yellow chicks in an incubator. So much fun. Oh, and then um, the chickens know when they need that oyster shell. So, you know, we used to keep it separate and they would eat it when they want to because they'll only want really? a certain amount. But they know how much they need and what they need and they will find it. You know, they, they now, are to, be, to begin with, if if I for a little while, mm -hmm. we could potentially just have a plastic bowl to feed them in right or i've seen people put like um one of those disposable metal trays out there mm -hmm. that they put their chicken food in so yeah. i don't mean like a cheap plastic bowl i mean like a one of those bowls that you buy or containers like to change your oil and catch the oil mm -hmm. it's a thicker plastic yeah. well some just, people just throw their feed on the ground <laughs> <laughs> they just come okay. out and they throw their feet on the ground and the chickens love to scratch. So that's why okay. I'm saying I wouldn't spend a whole lot of money now because things are cute and oh, I want yeah. this and that's neat. And that costs a lot of money. Bobby has taught me to not spend unnecessary money. So, right. you know, the, well, like I said, with, I just throw it on the ground. Mm -hmm. They, they, they kick everything on the ground anyway. And then they get it off the ground. So, you know, we don't throw it on the ground, but they do. <laughs> right. So it'll be okay for me to just throw it on the ground. Yeah. They love to scratch and um, okay, and, and search for things. So it, it won't hurt. You know, I wouldn't buy anything expensive. Well, I mean, I guess now we just need a waterer and uh, put a short video on Instagram the other day. And they were out running around in the snow. They love to be out running around. Well, Sammy Joe, I do want them to run around, but my neighbors might not want them to run yeah. around. And we have some dogs. You know, this is it's a neighborhood. So we have some dogs that get out and run loose on mm -hmm. a regular. And yeah. I certainly don't want them to be out if the dogs are running. I'm at yeah. work, so basically lurking, have to answer some calls and stuff, but it's on, and I have to hit the thumbs up button. Well, thank you, Gary. That's well, sweet. Man. Appreciate <laughs> that. that but you'll uh, get used to it, and you'll know, you know, and one day you'll say, you know what, I'm going to let them out for about an hour. I'm going to be out here just to watch them and see what they do and, you know, have treats or something in your pocket or my girls, right. if they hear this. They they gonna take off running wherever I go, but I take a piece of bread out there and they gonna follow me. Okay. So okay. Um, and Jimmy, um, yeah, we do have coyotes in our in our neighborhood. You can hear them howling at night. I've never seen one mm -hmm. on my street or my block or anything, but I have heard them howling to each other at night. Um, which I think they've trapped most of them because I don't hear them anymore. 
That doesn't mean they're not there. It just means yeah. I hadn't been out there to hear them. Yeah. Um, that was scary, too, because people were missing cats. And, and you'll miss a chicken. And they only will take, like, one, a raccoon or possum or something, whatever, take them. It'll just come and take one chicken. Oh, man. And then it'll come back the next night and take another chicken. So they won't take them all at one time or kill them all. They'll just take one here, one there. So how you know, terrifying! Uh, we, don't, we don't close our chicken coop at night anymore because that thing is so predator proof. <laughs> it's Fort Knox, get, isn't it? And nothing can get out. So the girls go in automatically. Right at um dawn, you'll see them lining up. To go in the house and they won't come back out until the next morning okay well i mean we do have possums here mm -hmm. i haven't seen a raccoon but i have seen beavers i've seen nutras i've seen um what is it there's something uh, groundhogs um i've seen owls and hawks and in fact, we had a terrible infestation of blackbirds for a while there. They were eating everything in sight and a <laughs> hawk started hanging around and I could, I could see it swoop down and, and try to get that. And those blackbirds just, whoosh, you know, they're squeaking and squawking like crazy and taking off and they haven't been back in, in large quantities like that. Yeah. yeah. But we have, have hawks and crows. We have hawks and raccoons and possums. Um, when Nala was little, and I would let her out in the middle of the night, or Thor, I would see just those light, those eyes out there glowing at night, and I'm like, man. Oh, but um, well, they're crazy know, they to go in your yard with yeah, Thor and they'll Nala. Come, they'll come to the chicken coop and you know try to get in. You can see where they may have dug, but they hit that wire and they like, nope, that's too much trouble. And they'll just go ahead on. So we've never lost okay. a chicken um, to a predator. Well, that's fantastic. I hope to say the same <laughs> when I have had chickens two or three years. I was looking at the calendar, and uh, this week is my two-year anniversary of being on YouTube, which is pretty cool. Two years? Uh, two years. Two years. Good. And Good. I can't imagine... Good not having gone on this adventure yes. to be able to learn and make friends with everyone and have real, real relationships and have a talk like this have a, yes. where I'm, I literally know <laughs> nothing, absolutely zero. And I can come on here and ask everybody their opinion. You worry about yes. Hawk Spoon? Yes. Yeah, Spoon and Sunshine, because, you know, we have them too. Yeah, I'm planning on having absolutely nothing. Everything covered all up like a package, yeah. <laughs> and that's what we did. We covered everything. The top is covered, like I said, it's a dog kennel. That body yeah. just attached to the chicken coop, but we had no clue. And I, the way we feel, if we want it, we get it, and we learn as we go. Yes. Because a million people will tell you, "Oh no, you got to do this. No, you got to do that," and you running around buying all this stuff, doing all this right. Stuff. And then a year later, it's like, what did I buy this for? I've never used yeah, it. Yeah. And I it's know some like, things, yeah. Some things are good to have just in case, but I mean, if you Yeah, it's to, sort of like having a, a, a new baby when you, you think, well, the your first baby, you think you need everything, 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 yeah. everything. And then the second baby, you get, well, I didn't never use that. I never used that. And so I don't need. 50 outfits and I don't need yeah. this and that. And, and then by the third one, it's like, give me a pack of diapers and a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that's what I'm open. It, like it happens having, with the chicken. Um, like having puppies. When Nala had puppies, we didn't know what all we may need, but it was certain things that we needed. And I yeah. think it's important for people to know just those certain things, but People like we trying to be, we are doing as much as we can to be self sufficient, save right. money, eat right. healthy. And to me, it's not fair for somebody to say, Oh, go do this, that, and the third. And then you end up spending a thousand dollars. And it's like, Why did I do all this? Because you right. don't know any better. So right. simple, keep it simple. Right. And then as time go on and you say, 
I want to do this. You can do it because you may say, I don't, I don't want chickens. I, this is, it's not working here on this <laughs> well, property. Getting to that no. point where I was going, oh my gosh, you need this and you need that. And you've got to have this and you got to have that. And I don't know what kind of, what I'm doing and I'll have to do so-and-so. And we got that kind of pen and this kind of pen and mm -hmm. you can order all these. And um, it was too much. It's overwhelming. And, um, and finally, like I just, you know. Talk to the hand. <laughs> yeah. That's why I told you when you said um everything will cost us about a thousand dollars. I'm like, everything like what? Build a <laughs> yeah. house, put a tarp over it, get you some sticks and put in there for them to roost. We'll get yeah. you milk crates, which cost absolutely nothing. That's a nesting box. Talking? Yeah. But you know, I'm glad Worth got a plan. And I would say let him stick with his plan because that was yeah. Bobby's thing. You know, he yeah. is the maintenance man around here. Yeah. And he had a plan and we stuck to his well, plan. It worked mm -hmm. out great. I mean, he and I are coming at it uh, from different ideas, but mm -hmm. he has it planned out. He's going to be the one doing the work. And yep. as long as they have something that they can be closed in at night and a place to run during the day, yes. the rest of it can be worked out just fine. Yes, and, and I mean, I, as you go. I have had um, some people say, well, all you have to do is get some, like y'all did with uh, some with your hog pen. Um, mm -hmm. What are those crate Cattle things? Beans. No, no, there was something else um, you, know, you used for gates. Oh, the pallets. Yeah, the pallets. Mm -hmm. Just get this and just get that. And then other people are saying, no, if you don't do right on your first one, you're going to have to rebuild it year after year. And I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, you could, you know, um, panels, those pallets would work, but you still have to wrap them with hardware cloth. With yeah. pallets, oh, yeah. technically free for the most part. So the only thing you'll be paying for is um, you definitely want to have them all buckled together. You have to pay for the hardware cost, which save a lot of money. So yeah. in the homestead and realm, that's what it's all about. These DIYs saving mm -hmm. money and um, yep. you know, being creative. Bobby built everything from scratch. He just yeah. say, Oh, I got a plan, and he go out there and he build it. I think <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Worth can build a great big ship. He's been a shipbuilder for mm -hmm. over 45 years. He can put together anything like that with metal and all those kinds of things. But a carpenter is not his strong suit. He's yes. very talented in other ways, but being a carpenter is not his strong suit. So he's going to learn right along with the rest yes. of us. Yes. And um, it'll be great. I, I hate bold line. It'll be good um, to be able to see how things go. To cool my jets, I don't have to buy. They're sixty five dollars. Some of those chicken feeders. Yes. No, and a five gallon bucket, y'all. If you order a five gallon bucket off of Amazon, it's thirty one dollars and seventy nine cents just for the bucket and not the lid. The lid is four ninety nine. No. no. For I a think five Bobby gallon paid. bucket. Three or four dollars or something from a for a bucket from um, Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever. No, no. Right. And I like mean, I we said, could... you just scoop food and and sling it on the ground. They gonna scratch and enjoy life <laughs> more right. than they would enjoy a thirty dollar bucket because they gonna yes. throw it on the ground and then they gonna right. scratch and pick through it because they gonna get what they want. So don't waste right. money. You know, try, try. And if you don't have it, it's okay. Cat litter, litter containers work. Well, you know what? We're going to do the best we can with what we have. Yes. And yes. Uh, they have plans and videos on how to build most chicken pens, Rita says. Yep. Yeah, I've been looking at those. worth has been looking at them. We've been, we've been checking that stuff out, but we're, we're starting to get running out of time. But I could tell you, um, it's coming because... You know how I know that Worth's getting ready to build that chicken coop? He turned down a fishing date. One of his buddies said, oh my God. we need to go fishing on such and such date. And uh, he said, man, 
I got a chicken coop to build. I got to turn. Oh I got. I got to get this done first. He is. That I think is, is more excited for these chickens than you are. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's even. I think it's even. But uh, yeah, he is. Great, you, know, you don't want to spend too much money because that's stressful. And of course, right. You, know, you, you want to stay away from anything that's stressful. You um. You don't want to overthink. The simple things, feeders, waters, you know, because that's stressful. You want to be able to enjoy your chickens right. when you get them. Sit back and enjoy them, not just be like, oh, my God, you know, right. you got to eat noodles. Well, I know I can feed them. I, I just got to figure out a way to water them um, yeah. and without spending, you know, $75 or something crazy. Yeah. And they have, um, they have reasonable on, waterers. Do they? Because I've been looking on Facebook Marketplace, but mm -hmm. I don't know how to work that thing. I mean, have you ever bought anything on Facebook Marketplace? Um, we have bought. I think the China Closet came Michelle, from the Marketplace. I think, but you know, we used a five-gallon bucket, and all Bobby did was put a little something, a nozzle or something on the inside. They have these um, little cups that uh -huh. automatically fill up on their own. So, you know, I, I we didn't pay. We might have paid five, six dollars, maybe. Okay. Eight the well, Sammy Joe says water. that she had a she had a large water and paid eighty dollars for it. See, that's what I'm worried about. And it was mm -hmm. about fifteen years ago. Broke in two years. She said five gallon buckets the way to go. Now we yep. do have. You just message your people on marketplace. Well, Nora, the thing is about messaging people, I can't seem, to, you know, I'm old and learning new platforms is not my favorite activity, but um, it seems to go every place else except for my area. I think you're supposed to be able to put like a mileage thing in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's, uh, you know. I'm seeing all these things for sale in Michigan, and I'm in North Carolina. They have waterers that you add spigots to, five-gallon buckets mm -hmm. to. Isn't that what you yeah. have? Yeah, Bobby, Um, we keep the water on top of our run, sure. and um, he got a hose that run down, but they have these little red cups that automatically fill up. If, it ever, if I let the bucket run out of water, the cup will just sit up. But once... Um, I have water in the bucket. It'll constantly fill up. When they drink water, it'll self-fill itself. So, Right. Um, I've seen that and because you do the rabbits. You do the rabbits kind of like that? Uh, the rabbits have the, the little thing that they have to tap to get water. But they, they are all water. inexpensive. Okay. So Michelle says make sure you're in local so you don't be trying to buy things in Kentucky. <laughs> yes, I know. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness hey miss shirley um th so we can't say hey to everybody i'm sorry y'all that uh because we do have four channels on here right now and i don't i don't yes. want to miss anybody or miss anybody you know mess anybody up but i did have all of these questions going on as far as chickens and, and i still have a lot of questions but i feel after tonight i feel better about it because I know where it's going to handle the coop. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be bringing the chickens home in a great big metal dog crate. Yeah. Now, transporting them, this dog crate does not have a tray, a, one of those metal trays in the bottom. Mm, they it, don't need it. It's, don't, it's been missing. But what yeah. I do is I have a piece of board that goes under it that mm -hmm. I can cover with a plastic bag. And then... Um, Put some sort of newspaper shredded or something. Should I do we'll that? Just, uh -uh. Nope. Just bring the crate. We'll put some um, <laughs> You'll pine chips me. in the bottom and they'll okay. be fine. They probably will not eat or drink. The thing about chickens, uh, they don't like to stress or be stressed out. So the yeah. trip from here to home, they'll, they're not going to want to eat. They're not going to want to okay. drink anything. So, and they'll be fine, you know, for those few hours until they get home. Well, I'll be driving 
straight through yeah. and then you know but and then you just offer them water and food you put it somewhere they'll know where it is they'll find it they learn from each other um when okay. we get chickens we always dip one or show one the water and they all show each other but they they will find it but um the in the crate you know they'll be fine they they're not gonna want it's anything big, they'll just it's a big, right. i mean it's like a it's like a yeah. A small pony crate. It's like a yeah. Great Dane crate. It's yeah. it's big, yeah. like your big crates. And they'll just lay uh, down so. and um and ride. They'll they'll be perfectly fine. You know, we transported chickens before, and my baby, they, <laughs> they will do great. And then they'll get used to being home, and and they'll start eating and drinking, and, and they'll yeah. be fine. They'll be fine. Yeah, I'm just I just want to keep them safe, and I want to. Yes. Do the best thing for them, um, but there's a lot of people that right now are getting chicks in the mail, mm -hmm. or they're getting chicks from Tractor Supply, and so all of us can learn together as far yes. as what to do and yeah. how to do. We it. just jump in and we learn as we go, you know, because once you get them, it's a whole different look to learn. And it was like that with the rabbits, the quail, and the pigs. It was a whole new look. And even with the puppies, people tell us, you know, they give us advice. And I'm learning that, you know, Nala will take care of it and and do what she want to do for her puppies. So I'm kind of like, well, let me you stop know, worrying you know, what you're doing. It's almost time for us to get out of here. But yes. uh, you do have to pick up a puppy before we get out. You know you've got to yeah. do that. Says I'm positive your road trip will be less stressful than the mail delivery process. <laughs> Michelle, yeah. probably so. Yes, yes, uh, I would think so. I'm gonna do great, Glenda. You're so sweet and kind. What breed or kind going. is best for eggs? So, large white eggs. I would say, in my opinion, the um, Leghorns are best for eggs. They lay. I think they lay the most eggs. Chickens are born with the amount of eggs they will lay. They don't get they extra are, eggs. like women. I mean, women have a certain amount of eggs when they're certain born. Amount of eggs. Um, so Chickens the lay horns, I think, are top of the line Look when it comes at to that eggs. Baby. <gasps> they have their eyes open. Oh, look at your precious booby. Oh, puppy breath. I can almost smell it. Yeah, always have to yawn. Sweet baby. <laughs> Precious. Like, what going on? What? That tongue Precious. is always hanging out. Say hello, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> okay, Sammy Joe. Thank you. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, so sweet. A little boy. A little boy. Well, Sherry, I, I am sure there will be more questions. I, I would love it if you would make a video of showing me Bobby's watering technique for okay. the chicken poop, uh, okay. because I'm sure it would not just help would not just help me, but so, so many others. Because yeah. just in this chat, we've got other questions and people that are just getting them, and mm -hmm. you know, it'll be great. Yes. Okay. Uh, and we can, uh, we'll talk during the week and, you know, we are here. We can answer questions according to what we have been through with raising chickens. And it's all been great so far. Yeah. So I say don't overthink it. Don't go spending a lot of money because you can real quick and it's unnecessary. Things will break. Well, you can, yeah. Chickens you won't can, use yeah. them. <laughs> so <laughs> keep it simple and um, I'll do a video for you showing Thanks. how Bobby built things. That would be great. It would be it would really be very helpful because I think yeah. that um watering we we have it in a spot where the hose, the water hose is going to be able to reach. Mm -hmm. But um because at first it was going to be in an area pretty good ways away from us that you'd have to haul all the water to it in five gallon buckets. Yeah. And it was like mm, no thank you. Yeah, so, no, thank um, you. Much work. Yeah, just sweet babies. Oh my goodness! All right, it's eight o'clock. So, thank you so much, Sherry, for having me here. No problem. And you know, well, we talk every day, so <laughs> we will talk. And 
we can do another live if you have more questions because it does help the community and um we, you'll get through it we're gonna show you some things when you get here i'll do a video for how bobby build the water and the water um, and the food so don't spend a lot of money because it's just wasteful so there you go all right, all right so time. don't let nobody steal your joy <laughs> 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 good night everybody.